and good evening. I love Italian food and friends. And now we're here with yeah. our Miguel. consultant pizzaiolo. He'll try to explain to us what this consultant pizzaiolo is, uh, Michele D'Amelio. Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Michele D'Amelio from uh, Leone Avellino, Campania, Italy. I'm working in the United States for uh, Imported uh, and I consult for them on uh, flour and tomato. So basically pizza. I do consulting for pizza, I help Yum. our customers. <laughs> Everybody needs help from uh, our company. I go there, give the recipe, try to find out what, what product they want and I give what they what they what they want what so they expect. So you work with many pizza places. Yes. Uh, do, do I understand right? Yes, um. right. So everywhere in the United States, uh, we distribute this product, and uh, everywhere is available. I go in. So. So you teach them how to use. Uh, how to use our product in the right way to have the right product. So. Mm. Uh, so. Is it everywhere in the United States that you go, everywhere right? Everywhere in the United States, yeah. We cover uh, actually United States, Canada and Alaska with our product. So basically... So people learn how to make the right pizza from you going everywhere. Yes, yeah, yes. So Amazing. I go in their pizzeria, I show them how to make the, the dough, the recipe and uh, use the right product in the right way. That's pretty much, yeah. Wow, that is the same thing that they do in Italy in your pizzeria, right? Because you told me before that you yes, have, I have his own pizzeria I in Italy. Yes, I have my own pizzeria in Avellino. I opened when I was 21, so, wow. so almost seven years ago. I'm 28 now, so, yeah. And, and uh, right now it's run by my family. Wow, yeah. and you go there back often? Uh, Every like three months I go visit, uh, I do, you know, sometimes for work, sometimes just because I go, I go back, often. So that's, that's good. It's not bad. And so your family also is in the pizza? Pizza business, yes. Pizza business. <laughs> yes. Where did my you love? My sister, my mom, my brother-in-law, they work in my pizza place. But did you start or was it from the family? I mean, how did I this I started with uh, my mom start? at uh, home. She was made bread once a week, and before the bread, I was baking the pizza. So it started like a joke, like fun. Wow. So fun turned into passion, and yeah. passion turns into it's your work. daily job and work. work. Yeah. But it's a nice work. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's job, but it's not really job because I do it, and I I don't feel like it's a job. You know, a job is you wake up in the morning, and say, oh, I have to go to work. It's late. <laughs> right. Pretty much I, I don't feel like this. I feel, you know, today I have to do this. I schedule my time. My company it's give me like a free, free, free time, free schedule because they know I work well for them. So it's not really pressure on me. That is that, great. So awesome. you're proud of being. Uh, yeah, this. I like what I'm doing. So, yeah. And, and did uh, you come directly from Italy? I this, uh, came uh, for sh pizza show in 2011 in Las Vegas, and uh, where I met some friends, and they asked me to come consulting somebody, which I came. I was supposed to stay only three months in Dallas, and after three months, they say, oh, no, 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 please stay here. We need to you. Don't leave. Don't leave." So we, they gave me a visa work, and uh, I stay. I never left. Wow. And, uh, my girlfriend, she followed me. She gave up her study. And so she's already now here in the United she, States? Yeah, we'll be married next month. So Congratulations. She will, uh, so, ciao, Silvia. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she will come uh, soon. That is amazing. And, uh, and do you have a special pizza for her, or is there a special pizza yeah, that you I do know for yet. your customers? Uh, I, I just made a like, regular Neapolitan pizza. So basically, the most traditional is margarita, with just uh, tomato and cheese, it mozzarella says just, and cheese, but yeah. I know it, it and was basil, olive oil. So, but it's the right tomato, the yes, right. Yes, the right ingredient, right oven, right temperature, right fermentation. Uh, you know, it's all combined from too many, too many things to go together. That so, that is great. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Which, uh, now all United States get uh, more knowledge about this product before was not too many information and now the people start to realize what is sh 
Nemcu, Italian pizza, Neapolitan pizza, compared to the American regular pizza, you know, slice pizza. So. And so you were also telling me before, that was yeah. so interesting about y you do my the company, Italian ways. Yeah. My, comp my company just made a new flower called Americana, which is uh, all Italian uh, wheat and grain with uh, all the natural ingredient with the malt, so you get a brownie color. That's the flower can work at low temperature, so almost every oven, every pizzeria in the United States can do it. So we do American pizza with Italian products. Even the tomato, we, we select some tomato, they have not a lot of wood inside. So it's a little, a little dense. You know, so not all tomatoes are the yeah. same. You need a special one for your pizza. Yeah, I mean a special, um, how, how you say that? You know, the San Marzano tomato has a lot of wood inside. So this oh, tomato, it's a little it's more good for dry. Other things, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, we create a uh, American pizza, same pizza but with better ingredients. So, and so it tastes uh, even better. Yes, yeah, of course. So, so what it's an uh, upgrade uh, American pizza, right. but with Italian products. So what are the main ingredients, uh, like the, the, the main, main ingredients? The flour and the tomato, and uh, because in America the the, the low. The rules of the wheat, how they cultivate wheat, it's not a lot of rules. So they can put chemical uh, oh. and all the stuff. In Italy, it's really straight, so they can put so, so many things. So in order to make a pizza it's that tastes like in Italy, you yeah. need the same. Uh, they they have better ingredients. So okay. it's a lot of things behind. It's That's not a just lot. Uh, flour, tomato, cheese. Of course you know. there is the pizzaiolo behind, I'm sure, uh, that's why I, I think you are too modest sometimes. You were telling me that people called you when you were in Italy, so they find you, they found you yeah. because you were Well, so they good. start to know I can help them, they know they can have a better product, so that's how I start up. And, uh, I, I'm going to be receive a call from help or this, uh, on pizza. No one else, no something else. So yeah, 28, <laughs> 28, 28, 28, yeah. So a lot um, of uh, possibilities ah, yeah, for the, the future. The, long, uh, the, the way is really long, so we'll see what's going on. But have you ever thought of going back to Italy? I do sometimes because, you know, the, the lifestyle uh, here is so different than Italy. Italy, is, the life is better, quality of life is better. Here it's just, just work. I that's, see. That's what it is, just work. Just well, work, so yeah. far uh, we can do. We are young now, and uh, if we not do now, maybe later it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we'll see. And now that you're getting married, uh, yes, you have to so I need um, your wife you know, to decide yeah. also. Yeah, of course, we are uh, two, no more one. Well, yeah. congratulations. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here with us at uh, the ICC. Thank you guys for inviting me. And it's been such a great pleasure to learn about your profession yeah. and all the knowledge and everything that's behind that. It's a lot of to a learn. Pizza. Still, you would never still. think. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon. I will. Thank you very much again. Yeah. Grazie. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I love New York, uh, Italian food and friends uh, from Tiziana and, and Michele.